All right, here's my next engine and boiler. It's a three horsepower, four horsepower engine bolted onto the side of one of my 18 inch boilers. It's got 22 three quarter copper tube inside of it, rolled in. Valve is right here. Great sound. This is an antique oiler. Right there. Firebox is right down here. Put the blower on so that was fine. Blower right back here. It's a lot of air. The exhaust for the engine goes up the stack. Creates more draft. Uh, got a really good hand pump on it. One inch ram on it. This is the airlock valve. In case there's an airlock in the pump. Just open that up until you got water coming out of it. And then I pump and everything goes into the boiler. Great pump. Water sight glass is right there. Try coxer over here. And the whistle. Turn down your volume. A little loud. Beautiful. A really nice steam gauge on it. Flyball governor. I left room on the shaft to put another pulley on here that, uh, like a V-belt pulley, you could run an alternator off of it and generate electricity, DC current. Uh, got an auxiliary out right there for another engine. Fill and drain are right here. A uh, new firebox uh, ash pan on this, on this model. It's got a stepped uh, base on it with an ash pan right in here and draft door. Looks real good. So I build the entire engine. Uh, the height of the boiler to the top of the stack is 80 inches, 24 inch base. The boiler is 18 inch diameter, 42 inches long, and it's got 22 copper tubes rolled in. Really nice. And the pop-up valve on this one is so loud to go off at 75.